Hello friends, in this video we will study extra questions from chapter 2 sorting materials into group from class 6 subject science. These questions will help you in your exams. So let's start. Very short answer type questions. First, why do we need to group materials? Give one reason. Answer, we often group materials for our convenience. It helps to describe their properties. Question 2. Suggest two bases on which we can group objects. Answer. First, material used in making the object, example wood or metal or plastic. Second, material of the object is soft or hard or substance is soluble or insoluble in water. Question 3. Is a substance which can be compressed soft or hard? Answer. Soft. Question 4. Select a lustrous material out of the following substances. Answer. Aluminium. Question 5. Which material is generally used for making pens? Wood, aluminium, plastic, cotton. Answer. Plastic or metal. Question 6. Is oil soluble in water? Answer. Oil does not dissolve in water, so it is insoluble in water but floats on the surface of water. Question 7. Name two objects which are made from opaque materials. Answer. Wooden doors, blackboard, steel plate. Question 8. What is common between salt and sand? Answer. Both have mass and are in solid state. Question 9. List three liquids which are transparent. Answer. Water, alcohol and acetone or benzene. Question 10. Write two substances which are made from leather. Answer. Belt and shoes. Question 11. Name some substances which are made from plastics. Answer. Toys, plates, cups, buckets, baskets. Question 12. What is harder, sponge or iron? Answer. Iron is harder than sponge. Question 13. Write two gases which are soluble in water. Answer. Oxygen, carbon dioxide. Question 14. Name two gases which are insoluble in water. Answer. Hydrogen and nitrogen. So friends, we have completed very short answer type questions. Now let's proceed to short answer type questions. Question 1. Write any four properties of materials. Answer. A. Appearance. B. Hardness. C. Solubility. D. Float or sink in water. E. Transparency. You can write any four properties from the given. Question 2. Why is a tumbler not made with a piece of cloth? Answer. We use tumblers made of glass, plastic and metal to keep a liquid. These substances can hold a liquid. A tumbler made of cloth cannot hold a liquid because first, cloth piece is not hard enough to hold liquids and second, cloth piece has very minute pores through which the liquid oozes out. Question 3. What are the similarities between iron, copper and aluminium? Answer. A. They all have luster. B. They are all metals. C. They are hard. Question 4. Mention some materials which are made up of paper. Answer. Books, notebooks, newspapers, toys, calendars, etc. Question 5. Why is water important for our body? Answer. Water can dissolve a large number of substances, so it is needed by the body. It is also a major part of our body cells. Question 6. What is the basis for sorting materials? Answer. Materials are grouped on the basis of similarities or dissimilarities in their properties. Question 7. What is the reason for grouping materials? Answer. Materials are grouped for our convenience to study their properties and also observe any pattern in these properties. Question 8. Make a table of objects and materials they are made of. Objects, materials they are made of. Plate, thali, steel, glass, plastic, any other. Pen, plastic, metal. Bucket, plastic, metal. Knife, steel, metal, wood, plastic. Question 9. Make a table of different types of objects that are made from the same material. Material, object made of these materials. Wood, chair, table, plug, bullock cart and its wheels. Paper, books, notebooks, newspaper, toys, calendars. Third, leather, shoes, belts, purses, jackets, suitcase, bag, fourth plastics, buckets, chairs, 
tables, bags, briefcase, lunch box. Fifth, cotton, clothes, bandage, bed sheets, cushions, bags. Sixth, iron, chairs, tables, doors, bathroom fittings, mesh, wheels, and other railway goods. Question 10. Make a table and find out whether the following materials mix with water. Vinegar, lemon juice, mustard oil, coconut oil, kerosene. Answer. Liquid mixes well or does not mix well. Vinegar mixes well. Second, lemon juice mixes well. Mustard oil does not mix. Coconut oil does not mix. Kerosene does not mix. Question 11. Metals have luster, shine. Give reason why some metal articles become dull and lose their shine. Answer. Metals when exposed to air react with moisture and gases present in it, thereby forming a dull layer of some other compound on it. Question 12. Kerosene, coconut oil, mustard oil does not dissolve in water, even on shaking. They separate after some time forming two different layers. Explain why. Answer. The molecules of water do not intermingle or mix with the molecules of oil. The space between the molecules of water is not taken by oil, so they are immiscible in water. Question 13. Name a non-metal that has luster. Answer. Iodine. Question 14. Metals generally occur in solid state and are hard. Name a metal that exists in liquid state and a metal that is soft and can be cut with knife. Answer. Mercury is a metal that exists in liquid state. Sodium and potassium are soft metals and can be cut with knife. Question 15. Name the naturally occurring hardest substance known. Answer. Diamond. It is made up of carbon and it is a non-metal. Question 16. Why is water called a universal solvent? Answer. Water dissolves a large number of substances in it. So it is called universal solvent. Friends, we have completed short answer type questions. Now let us proceed to long answer type questions. Question 1. Grouping of objects help the shopkeeper. Justify the statement. Answer. Proper grouping of objects help shopkeeper in following ways. First, he can locate the required object easily and quickly. Second, he can easily come to know what stocks are going to finish and he should purchase them for his customers. Question 2. Describe an experiment to prove that water is transparent. Answer. Take a beaker half filled with clean water. Put a coin in beaker of water. Place the beaker undisturbed for a few minutes where enough light is present. Now, observe the coin immersed in water from the top of the beaker. Are you able to see the coin? You can clearly see the coin immersed in water. This proves that water is a transparent liquid. As you can see in the figure 4.3, this is a beaker, this is water and this is a coin. Question 3. Write an experiment to show that our palm is translucent. Answer. Cover the glass of a torch with your palm at a dark place. Switch on the torch and observe from the outer side of the palm. We see that the light of the torch passes through palm but not clearly. This experiment shows that our palm becomes translucent when a strong beam of light passes through it. So figure 4.4 experiment to show that our palm becomes translucent when light is passed. This is our palm and this is the torch. Question 4. How can you show that some solids like sugar, salt are soluble in water, whereas solids like chalk powder and sand are not soluble in water? Answer. Collect samples of sugar, salt, chalk powder and sand. Take 4 beakers. Fill each one of them about 2 thirds with water. Add a teaspoon of sugar to the first beaker, salt to the second, chalk powder to the third and sand to the fourth. Stir the contents of each beaker with a spoon or stirrer. As you can see in figure 4.5a, this beaker, the solid substance is visible in water and hence insoluble, that is chalk powder and sand. In figure b, the solid is not visible in water and hence soluble, sugar and salt. Wait for a few minutes and observe what happens to the substances added to the water. Note down your observations in the following table. So this is the table mixing different solid materials in water. Substance sugar which disappears completely in water. Second salt disappears completely in water. Chalk powder does not disappear in water and sand does not disappear in water.
and what we inference from the above table sugar and salt are soluble in water chalk powder and sand are insoluble in water friends we have completed extra questions from chapter 2 sorting materials into groups i hope this video will be helpful for your exams if you like the video kindly like the video and share it with your friends in case you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe it we'll meet in the next video till then take care and respect your elders thank you